Hey yo, sorry that I haven't posted in a while. There's been a lot of things that have been keeping me busy from doing all this uploading on YouTube and everything. But I think I'm gonna do like a behind the scenes kind of vlog type video. I haven't really done one of those in a while. And because I'm working right now on like a little project uh, similar to the lick in 17 different genres. I'm doing Christmas carols, but in the styles of multiple different famous musicians like Elvis Presley to Eminem, you got Queen, David Bowie, a bunch of others. Yeah, I've already kind of started the project, but I'm gonna just show you what I've done so far. Alrighty, here's what we got for notes. So I just came up with a bunch of different Christmas carols that I could think of. I just brainstormed a bunch of carols and then see what artist would most fit that style. You got the Beatles with Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, and I'm going for more like a, uh, early 60s Beatles, I would say. Read Off the Red Nose Reindeer by Eminem, just because I feel like him rapping the Read Off the Red Nose Reindeer would just kind of sound funny. I might add a few more artists, depending on how I go, but that is what I've got so far. That is the plan over here is my garage band project. I've already got a quite a few instruments and I've only done like uh, four songs. So I haven't recorded the vocals, I'm just recording the backing tracks. So obviously we're starting with Elvis Presley. You've got like a, your typical kind of 60s sounding guitar. Then you got the Beatles and it's like, this is going for like the, you can hear it's very much like Inspired by She Loves You and uh, I Wanna Hold Your Hand and all and like all those like 1964, 1963 era Beatles. We've got, I think it's Jimi Hendrix. This one was a bit hard. I haven't really done the guitars for this. And so yeah, that's inspired by Purple Haze, um, all like the famous ones. So I've got it's, I do not have an acoustic guitar uh, with me right now. I, I use an electric guitar, but I like um, use the acoustic settings. So it kind of sounds like an acoustic guitar. You've also got this Mellotron with free violins. I'm going for more his early stuff like Space Oddity, Life on Mars, Starman. And he uses a lot of strings in that. And then once the whole thing comes in, I think it's kind of David Bowie-ish. By the way, my life has been made a whole lot easier with this thing. Uh, it's the Evo 4. Hopefully, I will be doing a review on it sometime later. I just haven't got to recording it. It hooks up to the laptop, and it's so much easier because I was using the iXZ Tascam, which is pretty good, but you have to put it on a phone, and then I had to airdrop it to my Mac if I'm going to do like GarageBand stuff on my Mac. We've got a second day go, and we've got... A mic set up for the piano. I'm only using this piano for one song. I researched how Freddie Mercury played the piano and he does a lot of like octaves like and so I'm at that and there's a lot of like uh, arpeggios and stuff so I add that in and try and make it sound more in the style of a Queen song mainly like the early 70s kind of stuff and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's been a while, so I'm just gonna like show you what I've done because I've almost finished like the instrumental parts and everything and then I can get to like recording the vocals and some of the guitar parts because I'm gonna record them live as I'm filming them because that's just going to be a whole lot easier to film and record it at the same time. I got so many instruments for this Queen part and I'm also going to have to record all these different harmonies and vocals for the Queen part. I've got so many instruments, I'm not even sure if this is playing. Yeah, it's playing. I've also got some Michael Jackson stuff, I literally just implemented it just today. so. It's going to be a winter wonderland, I think. Well, it doesn't really sound that Michael Jackson-y yet, but once you have like the vocals and everything, it'll sound a lot more like it, so. Then I've got some Nirvana stuff going. A 
very like grungy style. And then you got some Green Day going. Which is very inspired by like Basket Case and uh, a few others. And also just like the punk genre in general. But this is a lot of Eminem type stuff going on. This is a hip hop beat right here. But I think of something. But it's probably most likely going to be Post Malone or Juice World. I think I've got it all under control except for Ed Sheeran's song. I don't really know what to do with Ed Sheeran's song. Like it's supposed to be in a way in a major. And I was thinking of just doing like a normal, you know, acoustic kind of vibe, like some of like the like happier and everything. But like, Ed Sheeran also has like those more pop songs and I kind of wanted to implement that, but I'm not sure if it works with Away in a Manger, so I'll come back and see if I can think of something. I'm just gonna film this little part just so I can show you my recording process, I guess. Uh, the first song is, um, that I'm doing backing vocals for is the Elvis Presley kind of cover thing. And so I'm gonna do like some 50s kind of scat backing vocals if that makes sense. Next vote backing vocals kind of part, which is unsurprisingly gonna be pretty hard to do, is Queen. Roger, Brian and Freddie all did one part at a time and they would layer it and you would get this really giant choir vocal because they had different tonalities so I'm gonna try different tonalities that sound a bit different so it resembles more of a kind of choir of many people even though it's just one person singing it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. That is a high note. <laughs> it sounds really weird just like individually, but when I play it back all together, it's actually kind of working, which is really, which is really promising, so it's cool. Okay, look at all of these harmonies. Like together, it sounds really, really close to Queen, or at least what I think. I don't know, you, you can, you're gonna be the decider, but. It's just like a bunch, it's like a whole choir. It's really crazy. This is actually kind of cool. I've done a bunch of panning on the sides. Obviously, you won't be able to hear it right now, but once you hear it, the, like the full thing, you'll be able to hear, and that just creates more depth, I guess. More like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it just sounds fuller. Next, I'm gonna do Michael Jackson's backing vocals, um, which is Walking in a Winter Wonderland. And I don't think I have to do too many parts, pretty much just two backing vocals, or maybe like four backing vocals, but like not many parts. So I'll go ahead and do that. I haven't really recorded in a while. It's been a few days since I recorded the last part of this behind the scenes. But right now what I'm doing is I'm getting the Queen vocals and I'm running them through a flanger. I tried a phaser and a flanger and I think a flanger worked to get that kind of Queen effect that they use on a lot of their songs, especially most famously at the beginning of Bohemian Rhapsody, that kind of like effect. It's just gonna sound very Queen like, I guess. Well, at least to me, so. That's one thing I'm doing, and then I've pretty much finished like everything else, so I just gotta make the transitions a lot smoother between each song, and then I can like film it. Uh... Oh, yeah.